Hey, Mike's Mastermind.com. I appreciate when anyone does give me feedback, whether it's positive or negative or indifferent, on what I'm presenting here. And um, a recent a comment or question actually came in about basically asking, it's like, is there a relationship between my two projects, Egoism and Wealth Slosh, because I've been talking about them recently at the same time or the same period of time. They are actually two different things. Uh, I started talking about Egoism um, a while back because that was my last previous writing and then somehow I got into the Welt slosh. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can find other links to it on mikesmastermind.com or you can go to igoism.com, I-G-O-I-S-M.com. And Welt slosh, which is a long word, but not as long as the German word that I derived it from, um, can be found on grandtourideas.com, which kind of gives an overall to some of my ontological, philosophical ideas. All right, so anyway, so the egoism is this projected identity as counter to the ego, which could have some components in it, but what is this I, I go in my imagination and fascination? So you could say there is sort of this tie-in relationship that the welt slosh, which is world revealing or world dwelling, in the sense that we're coming into a knowing or a conception, is going to have some derivative meaning, and that might be coming through the I go, which I'm projecting uh, onto myself. So the relationship, and this would be interesting for further exploration, assuming there is interest, is that in the dynamic in the I go, I may be fantasizing, which I am doing because I'm projecting something, but it really could be sort of a assessment of my current life circumstances or situation and what's perceived within the dynamic of the relationships uh, with others. And assuming you are the other, we could say this dynamic, uh, depending if you're participating in this uh, observation, is the experience of the wet, the wet slosh. So weld is world and slosh is dwelling, we're, we're experiencing. And so the ability to then now do this one-on-one -on -one together as opposed to just what we're surmising in the I go about each other, which is, again, I go in my mind, imagination, I'm picturing this with you, and there could be some rationale to work things out, but it's not the reality of, of anything because it's just you and I imagining perhaps each other, and it could be different scenarios or the same situation, and it could be an issue connected to this and how we derive and come to our conclusions could be quite different because, number one, we're two different people, uh, or it could be a, a group's perspective, and it's coming from a different position, right? What your experience of it, your interpretation of it, as opposed to mine. So yin and yang, or left and right, you know, um, up and down, depending where we are, we're at in our spectrum or status and position, much can come into an interplay. So in the world slosh, we have this sort of uh, phenomenological, which is the experience of experience, and coming something to fruition to our senses, which we are then going to interpret and then per perhaps filter through our self-examination through the I go. Okay, so there has to be a certain respect on a certain level that, hey, you know, I'm seeing all this stuff and you're not, or you're interpreting in a completely different way from me. So the wealth slash opportunity or the invitation is to be able to share our perhaps I go investigations and to be able to do so in a way that doesn't necessarily make one a particularly better or a lesser than the other, right or wrong, it's just different. And that would be appreciated. So one may go there, one may not. However, the exploration or the opening up of the weld slosh, this idea of um, what we're welding and creating in our constructed world, and examining what we're building out of it, because we first have the dwelling, so something that's grounding and foundational, perhaps is going to now allow us to sort of have this opportunity to, to expound, to explore on it. But there has to be that interest there. And of course, there has to be respect that the person may not want to go there. Now, if something that does fascinate or interest or out of respect, one has to have some acknowledgement for this. So it's like, well, I get to find out what your thinking is through your shared impressions, the words you use, and the way that you're acting in front of me or through whatever means of communication if it's online or texting or the tone of your voice. The opportunity here, and this which goes into the third project, which is lovingconversations.com, is to be able to have that level of conscious communication that then is going to allow or assemble some kind of 
conscious connection in the communication that perhaps opens up a realm, respectfully, for us to be able to sort of collaborate in this exploration of the Weltslosh, knowing each other's ego, perhaps, in the way that we've experienced it, if there are any expectations or fears, anything that's associated to that semblance of the connection we have that then is qualifying our relationship or affecting the quality of which, that is what's um, hopefully open for dialogue and explore, exploration that then, as we interpret, is going to inform our ideology, our, again, expectation, and just sort of the dynamic that, oh, I get this, this connectivity is going to allow me to really get you and understand you on a deeper level. And if there's a foundational aspect to something that we both desire or have wanted but haven't been able to safely approach or completely comprehend, this now opens up the way in a delightful manner. When I mean delightful, it means it's, there is a delight that is also an enticer and, and attractive quality to this that permits a further exploration and investigation into what this is. So this would be the tie-in to where we are in the world of our experience and dwelling, the, the weltslosh.com, and perhaps in this investigation of I go a better sense of understanding myself, my interpretation of you, and this world-dwelling experience that um, we're each approaching from different angles, perhaps sharing, but we don't know until we experience or talk about those elements that do connect us, that do relate to us, whether it was from the past, the foundation of that perspective and uh, interpretation, what effect that has had on our determination, on what we've uh, concluded, what were our judgments of it, and perhaps cause us to go in different directions, perhaps opposite, or now simultaneously, we're able to look at it and share these different vantage points and perspectives which help inform our ability to now reconstruct the world slosh into sort of a, a an egalitarian, uh, you could say, emissary setting, so I'm here for you, you're here for me, in the way that we can best correspond and support each other in this exploration, not making one better or one right or the other, just different views and an appreciation that we're both here in this present moment taking on this. And that is part of the Loving Conversation Project, lovingconversations.com. Anyway, that's it pretty much. Hope that is something of it. Uh, as an enticement, introduction to both uh, what that crossover dynamic could be to igoism.com and the welt slosh. Thank you for asking that and appreciate your feedback. Thank you. MikeRatner.com.